Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just emailed me this morning. He had taken some clip art out to the laser, and he had a hairline around the outside, but then, so he engraved it, and then, and then when he went to cut it, it cut all these pieces out too, because you can see it's made up of a hairline. Now, there's really no definite, it doesn't always work, but if you have the pieces separated, this is just one section, one curve on a layer, and it says it's got 500 points, which isn't a hairline. I guess I've got too many copies here. But right there, there's a hairline. So you can, you know, go up to object, group, ungroup it's already ungrouped so the only thing you do there is left click your mouse to get the fill away and you can see a hairline now this is one object in just one hairline so this wouldn't really matter i brought in this clip art it says it has no hairlines and i've got it let's group it up or break the curve apart still says it has no hairlines you can go up to view and look at things in wireframe, but these aren't hairlines particularly, they're just wireframes. So let's go, and if you ever do that, uh, you need to go back and go back to enhanced. But let's just kind of, we've broken them apart, and I can see a couple of things. Let's go uh, no fill, well, Let me back up here. Let's go no fill. Huh, I've taken the outline away. Anyway, just a while ago, there were two sections of these, but they're not hairline, so they're not going to cut. So let's try to figure this out. And, it, and, and there's no rhyme to reason. Some clip arts have hair, hairlines. So this shows you right down here at your bottom left that this image has some hairlines. Let's uh, ungroup all objects. And this has a hairline. So there's a hairline underneath there. And it's right there. So you can see that. Well, that's easy enough to uh, take away. Let's just show real quick. I've got my nudge sec. Well, let's set my nudge factor a little bit higher. I've got this real big for the video, so let's say 50 inches. Clicked on that item, click on that item, click on that item, click on that, click on the, click on all the dark places, and take a little time. Whoop, I got a hairline, I know that time. And anyway, we'll leave it at that right now. We'll zoom in here a little bit or select all these. I've still got some hairlines in there. So let's just back up and undo that. There's hairlines in those black and outside those black. So, and this would be a pretty complicated deal, but I've got a hairline all the way around it. Let's see if we can grab it. I'm gonna change my nudge factor back to 20. And uh, tell you what, let's move that out of the way. There it is right there. There's my hairline that's going to cut it out. So you can do th two things. If you wanted to use this clip art and it needs some work, it's not really cleaned up good enough yet to engrave. But you can do two things. You can, let's put this back. You could engrave this on your laser engraver, just press engrave. And then you could move that hairline out of the way. Okay, let's do this. We moved it two times, one, two. Now we're gonna take our image and you can either delete it, you can group it and move it off your page and then move this back two times and now you've got a hairline and then it will cut that out and it won't cut out the other part. 
Now, normally I would go, you could just select that here line. And sometimes you might be able to, like I, I didn't that time. So it's easier almost to move the things out of the way and then click on that. And when you go up to your printer, just press selection. Now I don't have a printer hooked, I mean a laser hooked up to this field, but if you just hit selection, the engraver will only cut that out and not mess with this. So a lot of times, well, here's another example, and that's one reason I brought it in. I just did this this week, and a lady normally does real good. Right now, it's just no outline color, but no fill color. So I know it's a probably a grouped item. We need to ungroup it. Now, even if I select it all, it's not showing a hairline. There's 500 points, but there's a hairline. And what happened this week, I ran some of these, and she normally doesn't do this. She she draws this for me just to save me time and uh, get it exactly the way I want it. So when I went and ran it and engraved, then when I went to cut, it cut out the bicycle. So it messed up the piece of wood. It doesn't matter. It's only about the size of a quarter. So in this particular case, this is easy. I would engrave this item first and then just grab the hairline and then you go up to print selection and on your screen it should show you that you just have the selection on your laser screen. So there's no really rhyme to reason to find hairlines. It's on a big item. Sometimes it's really difficult. So the safest way to do it is to make sure you've got that hairline grabbed and then just, you know, because when you engrave, it won't engrave the hairline, but when you vector, it's going to engrave that hairline. So make sure you're just cutting the lines you want. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.